There are sections of an organism's genome called transposons that have no other function except for inserting copies of themselves elsewhere on the genome. And there are many very well-known sequences that do this. Two such sequences are signs or short interspersed transposable elements and lines or long interspersed transposable elements. There are about 850,000 lines and one and a half million signs scattered throughout your genome, accounting for nearly 30% of the entire sequence. While they are useless to the genome and sometimes cause significant damage, they are useful to our investigations since essentially the only way for them to go from one organism to another is through direct DNA duplication and inheritance. Your lines and signs are given to your children. The parts of your DNA that make up your genes are relatively small sections scattered among other useful parts of your genome, as well as your lines and signs. Like fingerprints, the patterns recognizable in these non-gene sections are unique to individuals. They are similar in relatives and less similar in distant relatives. This is the basis of DNA fingerprinting. And since these sequences are passed down from parent to child, finding the same sequence in the same place in two different organisms is direct evidence that the two organisms have a common ancestor. Biologists have used this idea to demonstrate exactly how different species are genetically related. Here are two examples. Three different identical sign sequences are found in the same genome location of whales and hippos, which are closely related, while camels and pigs, which are not closely related to whales and hippos, do not have the same sequence. The most numerous sign element in your genome is called the ALU. In the human alpha globin cluster, there are seven ALU elements. And each one is shared with chimpanzees in the exact same seven locations, guaranteeing a common ancestor. When ALU elements are deposited on top of other ALU elements, the markers become a chronology of development. Very recent human ALU sequences have been used to trace historic and prehistoric human migrations. Since some individuals have new ALU insertions that other individuals lack. 